Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It affects the way the body processes blood sugar, that is, glucose. Glucose is an essential source of energy for the body, and it is derived from the food we eat. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, helps to regulate blood sugar levels by facilitating glucose uptake into the body's cells. However, in people with diabetes, insulin production or utilization are impaired, resulting in elevated blood sugar levels. In this video, we will provide you with everything you need to know about diabetes in just 7 minutes. So, let's dive in. According to the International Diabetes Federation, over 463 million adults worldwide are living with diabetes, and this number is projected to rise to 700 million by 2045. In the United States alone, over 34 million people have diabetes, with about 90-95% having type 2 diabetes. The symptoms of diabetes can vary depending on the type of diabetes and the severity of the condition. However, some of the common symptoms include Excessive thirst and hunger Frequent urination Fatigue and weakness Blurred vision Slow healing cuts or sores Numbness or tingling in the hands or feet Unexplained weight loss in type 1 diabetes Dark patches on the skin in type 2 diabetes There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2, and each has a different cause. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder, in which the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The exact cause of type 1 diabetes is unknown, but it is believed to be triggered by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. It is usually diagnosed in children and young adults. Type 2 diabetes is the most common type of diabetes and occurs when the body becomes resistant to insulin or does not produce enough insulin. It is usually diagnosed in adults, but it can also affect children and teenagers. It is caused by a combination of genetic and lifestyle factors, such as obesity, poor diet, lack of physical activity, and age. Risk factors for diabetes. Several factors can increase a person's risk of developing diabetes, including family history of diabetes, Obesity or being overweight. Age 45 or older. Sedentary lifestyle. High blood pressure. High cholesterol levels. Gestational diabetes or diabetes during pregnancy. Polycystic ovary syndrome PCOS. Sleep apnea. Several tests can be used to diagnose diabetes, including fasting plasma glucose test. This test measures the blood glucose level after an overnight fast. A blood glucose level of 126 mg per deciliter or higher indicates diabetes. Oral glucose tolerance test. This test measures the blood glucose level before and two hours after drinking a sugary drink. A blood glucose level of 200 mg per deciliter or higher indicates diabetes. Hemoglobin A1c test. This test measures the average blood glucose level over the past 2-3 months. Treatment and management of diabetes vary depending on the type of diabetes and the individual. Type 1 diabetes requires lifelong insulin therapy, either through injections or an insulin pump, to manage blood sugar levels. There are different types of insulin available, which vary in their onset, peak, and duration of action. The main types of insulin include Rapid-acting insulin. This type of insulin starts working within 15 minutes after injection and lasts for about 2-4 hours. It is usually taken before meals to control postprandial after-meal blood sugar levels. Short-acting insulin. This type of insulin starts working within 30 minutes after injection and lasts for about 5-8 hours. It is usually taken before meals to control blood sugar levels. Intermediate-acting insulin. This type of insulin takes longer to start working, usually 1-3 hours after injection, and lasts for about 12-16 hours. It is usually taken twice a day to provide a basal insulin level. Long-acting insulin. This type of insulin takes several hours to start working, usually 2-4 hours after injection, 
and can last for up to 24 hours. It is usually taken once a day to provide a basal insulin level. The dose of insulin required for type 1 diabetes varies depending on the individual's age, weight, physical activity level, diet, and other factors. The dose may need to be adjusted over time as the body's insulin requirements change. Type 2 diabetes can often be managed through lifestyle changes such as diet and exercise, but may also require oral medications or insulin therapy. Some common types of oral medications include Metformin. This medication reduces the amount of glucose produced by the liver and improves insulin sensitivity. Sulfonylureas. These medications stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin. DPP-4 inhibitors. These medications increase insulin production and reduce glucose production in the liver. GLP-1 receptor agonists. These medications increase insulin secretion and slow down digestion, which can help to reduce blood sugar levels. In addition to medication, diabetes management also involves lifestyle changes such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight. It is important to monitor blood sugar levels regularly and adjust medication or insulin doses as needed. Managing other health conditions such as high blood pressure and cholesterol levels is also important, as these conditions can worsen the effects of diabetes.